major home repairs, the top five you should try to avoid. Today, we're gonna to talk about the top five repairs, problems with your home, things that you need to pay to get fixed, and how you should avoid them, why you should avoid them, and why they are the most difficult uh, to get done, to fix, the most expensive, the most time consuming, and just the biggest headaches and hassles when you own a home. And some of this I'm going to be speaking through the context of old row homes in Philadelphia, which has a very uh, old housing inventory of 200 year old homes and other stuff I say might be applicable for anywhere across the country. Uh, before I get into that, hey again everyone, my name is Doug. I'm a real estate investor in Philadelphia. Uh, my company is called Signature Properties, and if you're, you know, running into any of these major problems, these top home repairs, uh, and you want advice on who can fix it, what the right contractors are, what kind of uh, money you should be shelling out for something like that, give us a call and we can help you. Um, we have great connections here in Philadelphia, but we could also help you think differently about uh, how to tackle some of these repairs. All right, so today we're going to talk about the top five things you should I say avoid, but sometimes you can't, right? And so let's look at them through the dimensions of how much they cost, which ones are gonna be uh, sucking up most of your time, and then which ones are gonna be the biggest headaches or hassles uh, to deal with, right? And I'll talk a little bit about why that on each of them. So let's start with uh, what I consider to be massive repairs, which are structural home repairs. So if you live in Philadelphia, these are things like your front brick facade is uh, bulging out or there's a big belly in it, right? And you need to fix that. Uh, your entire house, all the floor joists and everything are slanting to one side and it's a structural deficiency. Uh, or what's really common in the city uh, for the row homes are these old sheds that were converted into kitchens or uh, dining rooms that didn't have a real foundation. They need to be demolished and completely replaced, right? So these are things that are gonna cost a lot of money. And they're gonna also take a lot of time, right? You can't just fix them overnight. Um, they're also gonna be the biggest headaches. If you're taking down structure, if you're replacing anything, you gotta think about the, the labor to do that, the demolition costs, the materials, which are, which are major costs today, um, if the city needs to be involved from a permitting perspective, uh, you know, working with your neighbors, if you're in a row house, um, and just kind of coordinating everything, right? These are massive alterations to the footprint of the home. So that's why they check the box on everything. Avoid them if you can. The second would be dealing with hazardous material. Okay, so why is that uh, near the top of the list? Because you can't usually just deal with that yourself. If you've got asbestos wrap around your pipes in your basement, or you're worried about paint that is chipping, uh, and usually that would, if you go to sell the home, that would prevent uh, an FHA buyer from being able to close on it uh, due to concerns about lead. So there's a lot of things that can get airborne that can be dangerous, right? If you have lead pipes that uh, provide water into your home. So these are things that I would consider in the hazardous bucket, right? And usually these are going to be expensive to fix because you've got to hire a professional, an abatement company for asbestos or a plumber for the lead pipes. Um, and they're going to be a hassle because if you're repairing your plumbing, you're out of water for a little bit, right? Or if, if they're doing an abatement, they got to like really like close off the area and bring in high tech equipment. But I don't think they take a lot of time. You can hire professionals to come in and get it done in a day or two and, it, and it'll be over, right? The third is trash removal. Well, it's an interesting one because you might be thinking that's just cleaning up. What I mean by this is someone who's lived in their house for 30 years, they built a life in this house and they have just wall to wall, almost to the ceiling, filled with boxes of stuff. Most of it's trash um, and it's just really unkept. And so the property is inhabitable from a perspective of that. You could think of something like a hoarder, right? Uh, th these are gonna be expensive because you need to hire a crew to clean it out. You need dumpsters, you need these big box trucks to fill up with trash. And it's gonna take a while 
for each person to walk through your house and pick stuff up and take it out. Um, is it a hassle? Yes, but it's not anything that's preventing you from, you know, calling up people to get it fixed, right? You don't have to do it yourself if you, if you have the money to, uh, to hire somebody. Okay, the fourth is anything around your utilities in your house. So think of like plumbing, electrical, heating and cooling with all the vent work in your house if you have forced air or if you don't, you might have uh, hot water, right? So these are also things like the drains that service the waste and uh, the water runoff from your roof, right? So repairs for these kinds of things are gonna be super expensive. You need to hire a licensed electrician, a licensed plumber. And I also have here that they're gonna be a hassle because like I just said on one of the previous points, you gotta be prepared to be without plumbing or electric for the time that they're gonna be working on it, but they're gonna do it quick. So I didn't put the time element there. It's not gonna take forever. They work pretty fast, okay? The last one, which I think is you know fairly common repairs, getting your roof fixed. And that one, it is expensive and it's not really a hassle and it's not really gonna take a lot of time. I just got my roof done on my house. Uh, if you need a recommendation, call me. It took them one day, all right? Yes, it's expensive, but it wasn't a hassle. I didn't have to do anything. Um, I didn't have to do any of the trash removal or any of the work or make any big decisions that held up the project, right? These guys know what they're doing. They got the job done. These are the top five things you should try to avoid while you own your house. If you find yourself in Philadelphia, you own an old row house, you probably are running into some of these things give me a call. My name is Doug and my company is Signature Properties. Our website is sellmyphillyhouse.com. We can give you names of people who actually will respond to you. That you can give you quotes to do these things. Even if you're at the end of the line, you're saying, Doug, I don't want to invest any more money in this house. I just want to sell it. We can be a cash buyer for your house. And we'll get you a quote on that in 48 hours, a fair cash offer as well. Um, so at the end of the day, you know, these are the these are the big ones the big ticket items there's a lot more but you know feel free to think about this a little bit on how this takes your time your money and your headache uh, and a solution like my company signature properties we can come in and take care of it for you uh, pretty seamless no headaches no hassle whatsoever i hope this video was helpful um, if you want to work with me like i said reach out to me fill out a form on my website sellmyphillyhouse.com i look forward to working with you